Hey guys, today's video is going to be specific talking about some general terms and general things you need to look at for homeowners insurance here in the Pikes Peak region in Teller County in the mountains. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Hey guys, real quick for you in that video, this is, my name is James Dean with James Dean, my real estate team. And I just wanted to make sure if you haven't done this already, make sure you hit that subscription button down below the notification bell. What that does is keeps you notified. Every time we come up with a new video, we do at least two a week. And I just want to keep you updated and just cool things to do, cool things to see out here within the Woodland Park and Teller County area. And you get to see a little bit of how I like living my life out here as well. If you've got any questions or comments, please don't hesitate. Give me a call, shoot me a text, 719-266-2725. You can also email me at info at jdmret.net and I will get back to you as fast as I can to answer any of those questions or comments. And if you've got any real estate needs out here whatsoever, please, once again, don't hesitate. Give me a call or, or you know, shoot me that email or that text. This is James D with James D. My real estate team, the team leader here, and I absolutely love living here, and I love helping people out here in this area too. Hope you guys like this video. Okay, guys, today we're talking about homeowners insurance here within the Tello County area specifically, but this really applies to anywhere within a Pikes Peak region up here in the mountains. One of the most important things you can do when you're looking at getting homeowners insurance up here is to shop around. I know if you're moving out here from a different place, you've probably got that insurance agency that you've always used, you've always been happy with, but it doesn't necessarily mean they're gonna be the best ones for you up here in the mountains. It doesn't even necessarily mean they're gonna cover you up here in the mountains. So things we're looking at, things I'm always advising my clients on with homeowners insurance is to make sure they at least talk to three when they're looking for homeowners insurance up here because they can have dramatic differences in pricing when you do that. And the reason for that a lot of times is because of the hail and fire damage that we could potentially have or risks that we have up here in the area. Now there's fire rating scores that are utilized nationally uh, throughout the United States. However, each insurance company will score those or add them up in a different way and they will create their own risk factors. And a lot of those are also based on the way they zone up here as well. So if they have within the same zone, and this works for hail as well. In fact, it, you can really see it in hail up here quite a bit. But if they zone you in the same area that is highly prone to either fire damage or hail damage in that area with that particular insurance company, you could see two to three times the cost per year of that homeowner's insurance within that area from another insurance company that might zone it a little bit differently, might score it a little bit differently. Also, if we have a year that's really bad for fire, um, you will see a lot of times the, the homeowner's insurance will start to go up quite a bit during that year as well. So something to kind of watch out for too. Now, fire is obviously one of the things that we none of us want to deal with up here, but it is a possibility and it's one of those natural disasters that we do have to look at and mitigate for up here as well. And when I say mitigate, insurance companies love to see this also. And sometimes it can lower your insurance or it can actually help you get insurance if you've got a property that is uninsurable because of fire. And yes, there are properties out here that are uninsurable because of fire. So it's very important to make sure you get an insurance company that will insure you and you know that before finishing a purchase on a property and committing to that. And especially if you've got a lender because they're gonna require it too. So as far as mitigating is concerned, typically they say anything, any branches that are lower than six feet, they, they want you to go ahead and cut those, especially on pine trees and conifers. Those are really heavy burners, uh, easy to light. Aspen's not as much on there. In fact, Aspen's being close to a home insurance company is usually don't mind that at all because the amount of water the Aspen's hold, they're very hard to burn in a forest fire as opposed to a pine tree. Pine tree's gonna go up uh, like a matchstick in a forest fire. So they'll also require you sometimes to go ahead and clear pine trees and conifers away from the house if they're too close. The insurance company will let you know that if that's something that needs to be done. I know you might have this big, beautiful tree out there, but if it's too close to the house, insurance company says you cut it or I don't insure you. I know it's a big, beautiful tree, but it's either find another insurance company that will or keep your homeowner's insurance, cut the tree down so you can keep your house uh, on that too. And there's a reason they do that. It's just because they're trying to make sure there's a barrier around the home so that if a forest fire does come through, 
firefighters can help battle that flame, keep it away from the house. And even if the fire goes around the house, it doesn't actually knock the structure down or take the structure down too. So that's why they're looking at doing that. We have tons of stuff out here, uh, like slash pickup days uh, that, and slash drop offs that you can do too. Slash is basically all the deadfall falling from the branches. So in the back east where it's a little bit more humid, that stuff will fall, it'll decompose and rot and just kind of take care of itself on the forest floor. Here in Colorado, slash or those dead branches can stay for decades out there. So going out and actually cleaning that stuff up on an annual basis is another way to take care of your house and make sure it's very insurable too. Now on the hail side, usually up here within the Tell County area, we only have one bad hail storm about once every 10 years and it's usually pretty isolated depending on where it is. It's not like the front range where you're gonna have hail pretty much every spring and summer with every thunderstorm that comes through. And it's just, it's not a matter of if you get hit, it's a matter of when you get hit by some massive hail down there. And it's important to know that because some insurance companies will take and they will zone for hail damage the same up here as it is down there. And they'll supplement their losses down there with a lack of losses up here in the in the Tuttle County area. So think about that when you're looking for that insurance place. There's also lots of different deductibles from $1,000 to $1,500 to 1% of what the value of the home is. 1% can get pretty high out there depending on how expensive your home is, especially for a rebuild. Lots of different things that come into play with that as well as uh, the ability for uh, um, fireplaces and uh, wood stoves and all that stuff, making sure they're permanent or done correctly so that way it is insured if something were to happen on there too. So I hope this kind of helps shed some light on the way this stuff works and why it's so important to really get multiple quotes on insurance while you're up here um, as much as possible just to see who's going to work best for you. And just because your neighbor has one type of insurance doesn't necessarily mean they're going to be the best for you because they might have changed the way they do things and we've seen that happen quite a bit. So if you got any questions, please don't have to hesitate to ask about any of this stuff with the insurance. I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. Don't forget, if you've got any questions, comments, whatever you've got, please send them to me. You can call or text me at 719-266-2725. You can also email me at info at jdmret.net. I would love to be your local real estate agent. I'd love to be your local expert. So anything, it doesn't have to be real estate related, please don't hesitate to ask. Let me know what those questions are and I will get them right back to you. I look forward to seeing you guys next time.